Hey guys, it's Mr. H. Uh, I just wanted to welcome you to part one of our website tutorial. You'll notice that this is myself and Ms. Livingston, and in this particular video, Ms. Livingston is kind of walking you through the initial steps that you're going to need to make a Google site. Um, a couple things I wanted to go ahead and mention at the very beginning though. One, you don't actually have to make a Google site if you have a preferred website creator or blog creator like Weebly or WordPress you are welcome to but myself and Ms. Livingston are only going to be offering tech support for Google Sites so we encourage you to pay attention to this and if you're not familiar with website building to please use Google Sites if you have some experience with this and you want to use a different platform that's perfectly fine uh, we are doing this first video um, as a quick introduction so that everybody can get going Please don't feel like this is all you are allowed to do at this point in time. You can certainly continue, start making the website look a little better, start creating different pages based off your table of contents, but at the very least, this video will let you know what we're looking for now. Thank you. Welcome Algebra 1 students of Islands High School, and this year we are going to do some fun activity for the next couple of weeks, and it's going to be called Fun with Functions, and we're going to go in depth about our functions that we studied this year. And if you recall, we had three functions, linear, quadratic, and exponential. And you'll be working with all three of those as you build your website. Mr. Howe is working with us and me. We're doing this together. It's the Livingston Howe team. And uh, we're gonna try <laughs> to do our best to walk you through how to create a website. So here we go. The first step to do is we're going to go on your Google Drive and uh, just like you get a Google Doc, you're going to pick Google Sites. So as you can see, I'm going to go up to my Google Drive and I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to select more and I'm going to select Google Sites. And the first thing we would like you to do is up here in the top left hand corner, what do we decide, Mr. How we're going to say um, fun with functions? Yeah, fun with functions. And then, with and then your name? Yeah. Is that right? Oh, yeah, whatever your name is. Okay, so that's how it should look because then that's the easiest way we'll find you. Now it's time to create the title of your web page. You can be a little bit creative here, but we kind of would like to see fun with functions somehow, you know, this is where your creativity can come in. Uh, you can, if you notice up here, um, you can bold this, you can italicize the words, you can, um, you know, put, so you could click it, and you can change the image of this background, of how you might want it to look. You can select an image, Like, I like the beach kind of image, so I could select that. And you can see that my background is nice and relaxing, fun with functions. And you also have this button over here to the bottom right-hand corner that says, um, you know, adjust for readability. If you click it, you can see that it changes. Fun with functions, and I spelled functions wrong, right? Right, I think. Yes, it should be. Let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys, me and me, I can't spell. Anyway, there it goes. Right, so you can arrange this any way you want. This is where you get creativity, and this is now what we call the first part of your rubric. If you're looking at your rubric, create a website. And the first thing you have to do is create a head header, and then you are going to make sure your name is up here so we can find it. And I think I also forgot to say, click over here to the top right corner of your bar here, and it says share with others. You need to click on that, and you need to um, share with your teacher, either Mr. Howell or myself. And also, um, if you would, um, whenever you're naming it with the fun with functions and your name, put your block there too. 
that way we know which class you're in. For Miss Livingston, it's not such a big deal because she's only got two sections, but I've got four and it would be nice um, to see your block there after your name. That way we don't have any issues with time. Okay, is there anything else you want to add to this part here? I mean, you can change the colors. You can get all kinds of creative, um, but the main thing is you've got to have those things that we mentioned. Use your rubric to make sure you have completed everything that we want on that section. I think that's it, right? So we're going to also today um, talk about uh, adding an about me part. So the first section we're going to add here is we're going to add a text box. So if you go to the left, uh, I'm sorry, to the right, and it says text box, you can add a text box. Or you can have a layout over here to the um, uh, right and click the layout button. And so we're going to call the text up here. We could say, um, We'll just, I guess we'll say this is going to be the table of contents, but we'll tell you about that later. But we're going to go over here to um, the first section. And what did we call the first section? On your rubric, if you look, it's called About Me. Okay. And here is where we're going to talk about um, what, what do you like? What do you like? I am personally a big Ohio State fan. So I can select an image that I might like, or I'm also a big beach fan, so I can go to select an image. I can go to Google Drive. I might have pictures there of my family, photos, or I can go and get a Google image, and I can search. I could say Ohio State, because you know you all love Ohio State University, and I can get the logo, and here's one, and then I click on it, right? And I think I move this up so I can see it. You can insert it. Just one second, this is going up. Insert. Okay, so that's a lot about me because I'm a big Ohio State fan. The other, um, so you can put whatever there. You can put a picture. Um, just make sure it is an appropriate picture. The next thing is we would like you to write, pick a song that. Um, what do we say, Mr. Howe? It's going to be a song about how we just, feel? Yeah, it just describes you like a song that you think describes your personality. I mean, that may just turn out to be like your favorite song, but just make sure it's appropriate. Right. So, like, this is one um, that I did last year, and I said, my life had a theme song. It would be We Are Family, because I have a big family. So, or, so anyway, so that is what you can do, and that uh, way to do that, go back to mine, is that you can insert a link here. Click on here, and then you have a link, insert a link. And find a good song, you guys all like songs. Or maybe it's a video of you singing a song or somebody singing a song that describes you. And you should be able to, you can even pull from YouTube and you can find it on YouTube. You can go to share the video down in the same section where you would like leave a comment or something. And it'll give you the option to copy the URL. And that's what you could link right there. And it would take you straight to the video. Great. So, Right there now, you have finished two parts of uh, the requirement rubric for this week. Do we need to add anything else, Mr. Hal? No, I think I just want to like emphasize, you know, make sure you actually pay attention to the rubric. And we put on there the different point values. So just make sure that you actually see um, like what you are supposed to be doing. Uh, and one thing I was just going to point out, you know, you don't have to do this piece by piece like we're doing it. You know, we're doing this to benefit you and get you familiar with the website. But if you notice over on the right-hand bar, right bar now, right I mean, there's tons of layouts you can use. 
there's you know the opportunity to add text boxes which we did the opportunity to add an image which we did but like right there where it says embed i'm pretty sure you can actually embed videos that way too so we encourage you to have fun with it just don't lose sight of you know at the very least the minimum requirements that we're looking for when we go to grading so the next video we're going to do would be about the table of contents and uploading your definitions from the Google Doc. So I would um, say that get the definitions completed and get this first two sections completed by uh, Wednesday and the definitions. And then on Wednesday, we will be posting a video instructions on how to do the upload of your Google Doc and also how to add a table of contents. But like 